Sometimes, your new screen might have a shorter inverter cable than needed. That problem can be easily solved with a couple of pieces of wire and some tools. Go ahead and cut through the inverter cable right in the middle using wire cutters or scissors. Now you're going to need to prepare the connections by stripping off some insulation. We recommend practicing your spare wires first since there won't be as much headroom available on the actual inverter lead on the jack or on the LCD panel. Spare wires can come from anything, headphones, old cables, or speakers. In our case, they came from a broken screen. When picking a suitable wire, one important thing to remember is to match or exceed the original thickness. Using thinner wire might be a potential fire hazard. Use wire strippers, wire cutters, or scissors and it might take a couple of tries. Twist each exposed lead a few turns to make it neat and manageable. Repeat the same procedure for your inverter jack leads. Again, please be extra careful to not accidentally cut the wire. Okay, now it's the most sensitive part of the prep, the inverter leads on the actual LCD panel. Hopefully you're not dealing with extremely short inverter leads. It's the same basic idea, strip the insulation and twist each wire afterwards. So, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll twist tie first pair of connections, then use a soldering iron on the second pair. It is not the mandatory procedure for splicing an inverter cable, it is simply an acceptable and the recommended methods used together. Of course we recommend soldering every connection, but it is not required to achieve the same basic result. If you do not have a soldering iron, just go ahead and twist tie everything, and make sure you use an appropriate insulation to secure your setup. I'm using electrical insulation tape, but any sort of tape like clear scotch tape, medical tape, masking tape, and duct tape will do. Please don't use the aluminum tape since that just defeats the entire point of insulation. Alright, for the second pair of connections, I'm dipping both wires into acid flux which is almost a magical type of substance, which can be bought at electronic shops or plumbing and hardware stores. It significantly improves soldering and makes the solder stick to metal much easier. I'm also spreading some acid flux on the inverter leads. As well, I'll be using heat shrink tubing for insulation of the second pair of connections. Please note that the heat shrink tubing has to go on before completing a connection. Align your leads and using a tiny dab of solder, attach the wires. Then swipe the soldering iron across the insulation to make it shrink in position. And you're done. 